1993 season marks a changing of the guard for Syracuse University Lacrosse. For the first time in seven years, there is no Canadian connection. It began with the Gate brothers, Gary and Paul, who helped lead Syracuse to three-peat national championships in their sophomore, junior, and senior seasons. The Canadian connection continued with Tom Marachek, last year's leader in goals for Syracuse with 47. He had 182 goals in his career and almost led Syracuse to another title last year before the Orangemen lost in the final in double overtime to Princeton. Now Syracuse is exclusively made in the USA with stars like junior Dom Finn, a first team All-America a year ago, and senior attack Jamie Archer, this year's leading scorer so far with four goals and 10 assists for 14 points. And yet Syracuse is off to a one and two start. Last week, the Orangemen lost in overtime at Loyola as Kevin Beach scored his sixth goal of the game in OT to hand Syracuse its second defeat of the season. The Orangemen are one and two for the first time since 1977. But Hall of Fame head coach Roy Simmons Jr. hopes a return to the Carrier Dome's bubble will help turn the season around. Super Sports, a presentation of Adelphia Cable Communications, presents Syracuse Lacrosse. Today, a matchup of two teams in the top 10. Towson State ranked ninth, Syracuse ranked fifth. The Tigers with a record of 2-0 so far this season, while Syracuse is 1-2, but hoping to even its record today in its first game this season here at the Carrier Dome in Syracuse, where a good crowd is turning out on a warm and sunny afternoon. A very pleasant good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our Super Sports coverage of SU Lacrosse. I'm Dan Horde, and along with Dale Drypolcher, we're happy to have you watching this afternoon. As I noted, Syracuse Dale is hoping that coming back home to the Dome will lead to a turnaround, but it's not simply playing games in the Carrier Dome. It's more like practicing. Uh, they've really had a rough road on the on the road, trying to find practice areas with the snow that's been all over the Northeast and the Midwest. It's like trying to take a basketball team, put them on a half court, and say, okay, get ready for some of the most important games you're going to have all year, and that's exactly what's happened. I think that's part of their problem. Syracuse coming off that overtime loss at Loyola. Kevin Beach was the killer in that game with six goals and three assists. But aside from his play, what were the keys to Syracuse losing that game? Well, there's a couple of things to remember. First of all, both Carolina and Loyola are, are good teams. It's not like they played somebody that isn't very good. But secondly, I think I'm not sure their conditioning was there, and I don't really think they were in sync. And in talking to a lot of the people who have watched Syracuse, agree with me. And they think there's going to be a big difference now that they're able to get in the dome, get their practice in, and get their work in. Towson State's another good team. We expect to have a good game today, so stay tuned. We'll have the opening face-off coming up in a moment on Super Sports. A lengthy stretch of home games about to begin for Syracuse. The Orangemen getting set to play the first of six straight at home. Syracuse only has one road game left in the regular season. That's at Massachusetts on the 1st of May, and then Syracuse comes back for its final home game before the playoffs, at least, against Johns Hopkins. Carl Runk, legendary coach of Towson State in his 26th year as the head coach of the Tigers, 225 career wins. And as you can see, not much of a series history between these two schools. Towson State won two meetings against Syracuse in the early 70s. Syracuse won the most recent matchup in 1989. And this is the first time the two teams have ever met here at the Carrier Dome. Of course, Towson was here a couple of years ago for the national championships, actually in that final game. Mm -hmm. uh, did a great job, so they're not unfamiliar with the Dome. And Roy Simmons Jr. with 220 career uh, victories in his 23rd year at Syracuse. And we're about set to go here at the Dome. Syracuse against the Towson State Tigers. Syracuse ranked fifth despite its 1-2 record. Towson ranked ninth with a record of 2-0 and, oh, and one of only three undefeated teams left in the top ten. And Towson is able to capture the opening face-off. Bob Fazy, Syracuse's face-off specialist, unable to come up with a first one this afternoon. Syracuse matching up. The Syracuse defense got off to a slow start last week against Loyola. The offense started even more slowly, but Syracuse fell behind in that game, five zip. Towson 
Patiently working around the cage. The leading scorer is number eight, Joe Genovese. He nearly lost it, but it was recaptured by Colin McDermott. Genovese behind the cage with a one-on-one -on -one move. Working in front, fires the bounce shot, and it's knocked away by Saran. Let's see where this goes. There's now, they say Syracuse, absolutely. Nice hustle, it looked like Charlie Lott, well, no. Doyle? Yeah, Mike Doyle hustled behind the cage to be closest when it went over the uh, end line, and Syracuse gets the ball as a result. One of the problems Syracuse had early, Dan, was clearing the ball, and that's one of the functions of practicing on a full field and getting a whole opportunity to get that 110 yards in. So let's see, they have no problems on this first clear. Syracuse often likes to take the ball down to the attack and start behind. And it looks like Towson is opening up in a man-to-man -man style defense, unlike Loyola, which was so successful in the zone. I think we may see a, a bunch of different defenses from them. They're doubling the ball right now and stealing. So Syracuse unable to get off a shot on its first offensive possession. Al Tyler got that ball from Towson, starts it the other way. Towson in the Syracuse goal area, their goal area now. Take it behind. Is that Reggie Thorpe putting the lumber on and steals the ball, gives it to Saran, goes back up the other way. Saran showing his aggressiveness and coming behind the cage even before the ball had entirely been captured by Syracuse. Colsey, Shot, yes. Wilson scores, and Syracuse has the early 1-0 lead as Roy Colsey scores his ninth goal of the season. He's the first Syracuse player to get to nine. He entered this game tied for first on the team in goals with Matt Ryder with eight. And Colsey had a season-high four last week against Loyola. Cesarski had him there at first, and then he beats him. He's going left-handed. Let's see where the ball down off the stick side of Colt, the goalie, and that's number one for Syracuse. 12.53 left, so they score first. As a sophomore, Colsey puts Syracuse on the board. Again, it's Fazy facing off for Syracuse, but for the second time, Towson wins the faceoff. Make sure they stay, stay on side. Strong check applied by Beardsley. Syracuse looking to clear. And saved inbounds beautifully by Matt Ryder. Lockwood working in on Colt. He had it knocked out of his cross. Charlie covers, though. doubled no momentarily, but this is the style. Run and gun. Syracuse has lost two face-offs, gotten the ball back, and they are down putting the pressure on Towson. Left-handed shot. And it's 2-0 Syracuse as Jamie Archer scores. Archer oftentimes playing behind as the quarterback is out front this time and takes a left-handed shot. Watch him. There's the move. Spin move. They double. He takes the shot just before, and that was down low, but it looked like Colt had a shot, but of course that's easy to say. He might have been screened a little bit, but Archer comes up with a goal, 2-0 for Syracuse. Five goals this year now for Archer. Really, both Syracuse goals have been put in the same spot. Low and to the left of Colt, the goaltender. Let's see, procedure against Fazy, so that will be Towson Ball. Krapinski with it, he goes down the right wing, takes it behind. Towson made up mostly of players from the Washington Baltimore area. There is one Syracuse product on the team, Bob Doherty from Baldwinsville. Shot. Saran, who had 25 saves last week, comes up with a beauty and a nice look upfield. Four on three opportunity for Syracuse, and it's three nothing as Matt Ryder scores his first goal of the afternoon. You can't get any better than that. Three shots, three goals. And that one was really made possible by Saran. The great save and then the great look halfway upfield. Saran is doing a great job. And, and, and the thing is, you got to do this first. Stop it. Watch him. Down on the knee. But now control it, Chris, which he does. But now watch. Look at the vision. He is checking out. He makes the split jump. And he makes the great pass. And that's what started it all off, as you said. And Doyle 
dumps it. Nice look. This is vintage Syracuse lacrosse, and now you're going to see a timeout by Towson, and you might see a little more zone because it's not that they uh, that they haven't been playing good defense, but the, the way Syracuse can sprint doesn't give much of a chance to do anything defensively. Great quick passing here by Syracuse. Archer will get credit for the assist. You know, you talk to the coaches, and I, I talked to them about the zone defense, and, and they said, well, the best way to beat a zone defense is to simply get the ball in transition and get down there so fast that they really are sprinting and can't get into that sagging zone. And right here, you've seen three quick goals on three shots, and Syracuse is being exhorted by Coach Simmons, keep it up, guys. This is the way we know we can play. About the only negative for Syracuse so far would be 0 for 3 on the face -off. You know, it's funny, and of course, as I've said before, it's not what you do, you know, if you get the face off, it's what you do with it after you get it. And what Towson has done is not really been able to do a heck of a lot. They've gotten off two shots. One was a decent shot, but Saran, being a key, turns it around and uh, starts the outlet, makes a great, uh, great pass and won't get an assist, but perhaps should. There is senior goalie Chris Saran coming off a career-high 25 save performance against Loyola. Might have been his best game, even though Syracuse lost it in overtime on a fluke goal of sorts by Kevin Beach. A lot of people were questioning Saran. You know, who is this guy? Went to Army for a while. Uh, Terrence went to Franklin and Marshall Division III school, ended up at Syracuse. Uh, just a very intense kid and a very nice kid. And boy, he showed, I thought, last year what a great goalie he is. Ball still loose on the floor, along with several bodies. Uh <laughs> Finally the whistle. That's a, that's a whistle, but I'll tell you, they're not going to take any grief, and uh, Dom Finn uh, just kind of picked him up and threw him out of the way. And uh, <laughs> that's unnecessary roughness. You heard it, so that'll be a minute. Uh, you know, it's, it's similar to where you don't want anybody getting a cheap shot, and he was just keeping him out of the way, but obviously he had him by the shoulders, a, a good call, but... You know, as you look at this, Syracuse has only given up one man down mm -hmm. situation, you know. That is, that's an amazing statistic, mm -hmm. Dan. Let's see if they can continue as they get set to play. But uh, it is an amazing statistic. Out of, what, 18 attempts, they've, they've stopped all but one. Right, and I believe Loyola was 0 for 7 last week, despite scoring 14 goals overall. Yeah, Syracuse I, goes to zone principles when down a man. Good point. I was just going to say that they'll get those sticks up and try to take the passing lanes away from the, the shooters and, of course, the, the passers. Towson's feeder, Genovese, gets it close to the cage. Lex not to shoot. A little bit of a sloppy pass, costing precious time for Towson. Shot and a score by Colin McDermott. He cranked it up and whistled it past uh, Saran to his right about waist high. They had done a nice job of sliding, and they tell Saran, don't worry about it. And uh, that was a blistering shot. Nice left-handed shot. Watch him come around. He's going left-handed. He's a left-handed player. Now they slide out, couldn't get in that line, and uh, Saran went off his offside. And uh, goal number one for Towson, 3-1. 10.49 left. Let's see, another. It's against Towson, and they will go right after it. That was uh, Pusha on That's the face. Right. Yep. So after a four opportunities for Fazy. Pusha had his first opportunity on the faceoff for Syracuse. Oh, nice Excellent save. Excellent save by Colt. That's that his shot first. was whistled by Bettinger. Yep, that was, that was his first save and he got right on, the, right on the pipe. They count now, they got 10 seconds to clear it out of their zone and they get it across. Good big stick work by mm -hmm. Fields, 43 as he checks out. And Towson's been successful on its clears so far today, although having more trouble once it gets closer to the cage. Again, Syracuse matches up as Stuart Crotty controls the ball for Towson. Well, he went behind that, that picket fence there, but he didn't expect that defenseman to be there, and he leaped out, and uh, there was a little body contact. There's Thorpe, number 10. He is an aggressive, tough player, mm -hmm. and you keep your eye on him. There'll be somebody on the turf before it's over. That's Timmons, he's guarding. This is Genovese, came in with 14 points in Ooh, two games. Oh, are they gonna get him for a ward? That's a ward, yeah. That Beardsley, Beardsley did it. That's 47, the man in the, he's got quite a stick and you're gonna see as he comes up and there was just a push enough that they got the ball to Syracuse and Laser Lockwood takes a soft shot. Bettinger getting the ball behind. 
Ryder tries to save it, but it's taken away by Towson. Colt looking upfield, and he feeds Cesarski. Cesarski running upfield. Lost it in his cross, and Syracuse comes away. Sullivan, 21, started that for Syracuse, and now Lockwood drops it. Fields knocked it away from Lockwood. And here comes Towson. Bob Doherty from Baldwinsville running upfield with a ball. Doherty gets it down, and they're changing people very quickly, as you can see, coming into the top of the screen as they get people on and off. Syracuse getting their big stick unit on. Tim Langdon with a ball for Towson. David Spencer controlling as Towson sets up its offense. Spencer. Beardsley just uh, hacking and hewing over there with that big stick and the ball still down and they get it to Saran. Syracuse doing an excellent job preventing shots. Lockwood to Beardsley. Successful clear for Syracuse. Flag is down. There's a penalty against Towson. Beardsley's going to come off. He might as well stay down there with the flag down. But nope, they're going to get him off. And Syracuse settles behind. Ryder cradling, moving in close. Nice pass, but the shot went high. Oh. Fired quickly by Archer, but over the net, not a bounce. We got a slash. I, I looked to check quickly if it was offside. They had the required number of people. Uh, Towson did. They had three in their attacking half and four in the defensive half. It must have been something else and it was a slash. So Syracuse will be man up first time for one minute. Eight ten left in the quarter. Syracuse leading 3-1. Colsey, Archer, and Ryder have scored for Syracuse and this is Syracuse's first man up opportunity. And all the big scores are on the field for Syracuse. Lockwood whistles it wide. Syracuse is closest and holds on. Syracuse five out of 12 coming in in man up opportunities. Syracuse usually has a lot more penalties against them than they do mm -hmm. to take advantage of uh, a man up situation, but they are being patient. Ryder back to Lockwood. Bettinger, bounce shot, knocked away by Colt. Again, Syracuse is closest. It's a good shot. They've taken two good shots on goal. Archer feeds Bettinger. And again, they work it around the perimeter. Lockwood to Bettinger. Archer, great feed. And it's a goal for Syracuse. Ryder scoring his second goal of the afternoon. I was just about to say the key thing is patience and getting somebody to make a step and then redirecting in back of them, getting them working one way and getting the ball behind them. And if you watch the feed here, you'll be able to see what happens as they make the fake, they get the ball behind. Now see Ryder where he's camped? Look, nobody was even there. He drew number 37, he drew Spencer, and when Spencer made the move, he flipped it over and Ryder was uh, had a Coleman stove set up. He was there all day. <laughs> and also Archer's ability to be on one side of the cage from behind and then flip it to the other side where the defense is kind of expecting you to keep playing on that same side. That's the whole key, and Syracuse now up 4-1 and a nice man up goal, face-offs. Not much yet, and Syracuse may lose another, and they do. 5-1 now in the face-off department, an advantage for Towson. Mark Gores is the face-off specialist for Towson, and he has been terrific thus far. Oh! Hit the pipe! Piper and Saran saves. David Quinn was the man who made the shot that hit the post. Fazy running upfield for Syracuse. Bettinger being whacked at by the close defense. Man to man, that's Moore on him. Nice job by Moore as he forces him out. Now they got the small stick on Syracuse, number 25, Aarons. Syracuse is so deep. Yeah. We'll have a lot of names even in the first quarter. They'll run a third midfield at you, and they are now. Oh, nice look, but a poor pass. That's going to go out of bounds. Alex Puteau 
I believe, mm -hmm. 19. Alex yep. had an excellent game in the win at Michigan State. And since that wasn't a shot, the ball goes over to Towson. But had it been a shot, it would have been whoever was closest to it when it went over the end line. But as you pointed out, it's Towson's going to get it, and they got to clear it. they got to get it out of their zone in 10 seconds. They made it through the first one. Ball down. Bettinger. Oh, boy. They got all over him, didn't they? Oh, bad pass. Attempted for Ryder, but knocked away by Towson. Here comes Colin McDermott, who scored the 1,000 goal. David Quinn, number 20, waits for the numbers. Here come the Tigers. You know, it kind of puts you in a, in a, in a dilemma. You want to take a little bit of air out of the ball if you're Towson. You don't want to get into a running match. On the other hand, you're down by three goals, which is not a lot, but you don't want to let them up either. So you kind of, we'll just keep running our controlled offense. We're not going to panic now, but they want to make sure that they take good shots. Timmons. You see him break out from behind the screen, takes a shot. They got him on the head, I believe. That's going to be a slash. Nice save by Saran. I'm not sure if it was on line to go into the goal or not, but he did quickly make a stick save. We might get a look at it here on the uh, on the replay. Let's see. See, there's the guy. He breaks out from behind the screen. Now he draws double. That's Thorpe comes down, number 10. I think there's where he got it in the head. You saw his head. But you're right. It was a nice save because mm -hmm. Saran really had to get that body in front. And he did a nice job. So Syracuse down for a minute. As Aarons takes a seat. Thousands one goal did come in a man-up situation. In fact, uh, both teams have converted their one opportunity. Open shot, shot yeah. and a goal. Fired home by Tim Langton. And it's 4-2 in favor of Syracuse. Not able to get a stick up on Langton. And when he's that close, you got 36 square feet there. And he took a nice hard shot. Watch, watch Thorpe, number 10. Now he's got to slide over and try to get stick on stick. But amazingly, as you see, Langdon was able to get that stick right through there. You're going to get a nice angle here. And oh, just stick side. And he had Saran moving a little bit to his left. And the shot went over his right shoulder. Nice shot by Towson, 4-2, Syracuse. Syracuse still looking for its first clean win of a faceoff. And this will not be it again. It is Mark Gores doing the job for the Tigers. Now this is exactly where Towson wants to meet. Now they're only down by two. We'll take our time. We know Syracuse gets a lot of penalties. We know we'll, we'll try to rush in and we'll see if we can't get somebody to bounce a stick off our head and get another man up opportunity. Well, they also know if they can get a goal, they have a very good chance of getting the ball right back. Yep. Gore's success in the faceoff area. Yep, that's the, the, the thing about lacrosse is it's like in the basketball scoring and getting the ball back again right, right away. Back when they had the jump ball after every hoop. Right. Now they spread things out a little bit. Towson spreads it out. And let's see, he went out. Failure to advance, that'll cost you a possession. Yeah, they spread things out, did not get the ball in the attack goal area, and uh, there Coach Runk. Syracuse's close defense has been very good so far. Yeah, they have been. And uh, they wanna, I see him uh, setting up a clear, and they get the ball, yes. Excellent look up field to Fietta. They, Syracuse coaches wanted to set that up. Ryder. As you mentioned, pretty much, we see Towson staying in that man-to-man, -man, at least at this point. Syracuse expected to see some zone because of the problem they had against Loyola. Dom Finn going one-on-one, -on -one, his specialty. Oh. And he scores! A beautiful goal by Dom Finn as Syracuse let him take it about 20 yards in front of the goal and work his one-on-one -on -one magic before firing the low shot past Tim Colt. Tyler, number six, is just isolated on him. Watch him, and he takes him left. And he brings him back right, and then he just takes a worm burner, a little low shot, that AstroTurf, and you can see that right here, this will be a nice angle. Watch him, see back left, now right, boom! And uh, that's a hard shot to see. You know, that ball kind of blends in with that carpet because it's a blur, and Finn comes up with his first goal. He kind of blends in. Yeah. At 5'8". <laughs> that's right. Very shifty. All-American from uh, Yorktown, New York, and Dom has his fifth goal of the season. Oh, that looked like a push. No call, Syracuse gets and it. Dom Finn, again, racing upfield for Syracuse. Made a nice move, then lost it out of his cross. 
But he gets it back, and Syracuse has the possession with about 3.20 left in the quarter. The Orange been leading 5-2. See now, Syracuse doing a lot of starting out up on top, and they, they like to take it behind. Finn will Similar take it again. Similar move yeah. by Finn. He fired for the same spot, and Colt was ready to make the save. Oh, nice try. Nice look. And it actually worked. Yes. Genovese comes up with it for Towson. Scarborough, the defenseman, just shoveled it across, and uh, they got lucky. Towson waiting for players to get in position. Al Tyler with the ball. Oh, completes it to Genovese. And the shot off right. the post. Another penalty here. This is going to be unsportsmanlike or unnecessary roughness. Check that. And that was Colsey. Let's see. We'll see this pipe. Whoa! Oof. Right above the stick. And that's a that's a real carom, that is. <laughs> when that door picks off, yeah. But once again, Syracuse is gonna be manned down. It was unnecessary roughness, and uh, this is the third attempt now for Towson. They've got two. Both Towson goals coming man up. Yep. And it's Quaddy who hit the post on his last shot. Saran stopping him this time. Somebody, what's the story here? Oh, pick. Illegal pick. So we'll see the last save. There's the pass. There's the shot and nice save. Fifth save already for Saran. You know, just as you Crotty again. This one is way upstairs. And Beardsley is going at it with a member of Towson State. Well, now they're going to be two men down. Tim Langdon getting under Beardsley's skin. Rick is hot-tempered, and he's going to the sideline. He, he's a talker. Beardsley's a talker. Now Syracuse is two men down. So they're trying to find out how much time is left on the first penalty. So now there are two men down. And you know, I was just saying, coming into the game, Syracuse have been penalized 21, opponents 12. That's nine more penalties. And that's uh, indicative of what they're seeing so far today. A lot of man down. And even as he sits on the sidelines, Beardsley's jawing with the Towson State players on the bench. Uh, he's a talker. He... Save, nice Saran. job. Saran robbing David oh. Quinn. Ball down, it's taken by Syracuse again. Ryder. Tried to find Chad Smith, and it went out of bounds. They got somebody released. Wait, they're gonna try to figure out. Somebody gave a release sign with possession in the box. Let's see what happens. Here's, Here's Saran the... robbing Quinn. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a nice shot. A little bit off, a little bit off on the side, but you're right, he got right on that. And then he outletted it. Hans Schmidt, by the way, was the guy who, defenseman who really got the ball and got it upfield after he got the pass from Saran. So Syracuse was two down. Let's see what's happened here. Now there's one, two, three, four, five. Penalty flag thrown right in front of the Syracuse sideline. Well, now it could, this one could be on the bench. Oh, that's an illegal team personnel on the white bench. Somebody, they had released someone. We'll have to count and see. Uh, we've had some of these before. It'll take about uh, five minutes to figure out what's going on. They did get a timeout in. Let's see if we can hear. They don't want him out of the coaching area. I think that was the penalty that, that John Desco, who's generally fairly mild mannered, is is I'd say perturbed, hot, hot, and then of course then everybody gets on and it kind of exacerbates the situation. Oh, now they. 
Now let's see what we got. Somebody said they were three men down. Let's see how many white shirts go out there. Well, there's four, six, nine. That'd be a man down. Jake Curran, one of the officials. If any stuff more is thrown on the field, it's going to be a one minute non releasable penalty against the home team. Is, is it releasable? Yes, it is. Apparently, Interesting somebody, to hear the officials piece saying of tape, that, yeah. that if anything else is thrown on the field, it'll be a penalty against Syracuse. So they are down only one man at this time. About a minute and a half left in the quarter and a shot and a goal. Bob Doherty from Baldwinsville scoring for Towson State and it's five to three. Yep. Well, there's the ball. They were, I believe, two men down. There's the turn and the fire and Saran just kind of a sitting duck when you can get within seven or eight yards of the crease. And that's every time that happens, you'll see the same result. But now they should be at full strength. But Towson back to a two goal deficit as Doherty comes up with his first. And it's gotta be a thrill for Doherty who would come to games in the dome as a kid when Syracuse played some of its higher profile opponents like Hopkins. That's right. For North Carolina. Goers incidentally was uh, detected pushing on that face off so Syracuse gets the ball back. And you see the score and the time remaining in the first quarter. Interesting game. Syracuse has been a whole lot of time in the penalty box. Lockwood. This is Ryder. You can hear the goalie saying, don't let him feed. Easy to say. Archer. Colt got a piece, but couldn't control it, and it tumbled into the net. Jamie Archer with his second goal of the game. Archer, the guy who's really designated as the quarterback, doing a little bit uh, different job here as Ryder feeds him. And look, he got a stick on it, but not enough. It breaks the plane, gives goal number six. So you've got Ryder doing the feeding and Archer doing a little bit of scoring. Archer came in with 14 points and he already has two goals and two assists in the first quarter today. Jamie, an honorable mention, All-American last year and certainly hoping to maybe receive first team status this year as a senior. That's uh, Pusha. Pusha, yeah, I'm just going to check. Off. Pusha comes up with one. That's uh, six and three now, or six and four. So six faceoffs for Towson, four for Syracuse at this point. Plenty of time for Syracuse. About 30 seconds left in the quarter. Shot and a score. Boy, I'll tell you. Paul Sullivan scoring for Syracuse, and it's seven to three. If we see this in the replay. Watch 34, Crotty. He's a short stick guy. He did everything except grab him around the neck and strangle him. Watch, watch, bang, bang, elbow up, hit him again. Stick, 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 hack, too bad, <laughs> jump. It really, I mean, that's, you know, it, it looks, when you see it so quickly, when you slow it down, that's really hard to get by that kind of stuff and actually get a shot off. Sullivan did, and that's a good goal for Syracuse. Somebody came in a little fast, delay a game, it's Syracuse ball as somebody from Towson Took off on the wing, and that'll give the face off to Syracuse, so get them either in any way you can, Dan, I guess. And again, plenty of time left, about 30 seconds. Shot goes wide, but Archer was closest, and Syracuse holds on. Archer behind instead of Ryder. Is Ryder out there just checking to see number four? Nope. Colsey took that last shot for Syracuse. Donegan in, number one on attack. Lockwood. Down to about 10 seconds. Down to five. Three seconds left. Oh. Gonna have to be quick. And it's knocked away. Nice actual body save there by Tim Lusky. Lucky, check that. Got his body in front, no shot. So Tim Cold walks off the field after a tough quarter for him and for his team. After the first 15 minutes, it's Syracuse seven and Towson State, three. Dan Horton, Dale Drypolcher back at the Dome. Syracuse leading 7-3 as we get set to begin the second quarter. The Orangemen dominating ground balls in the first, 8-3 unofficially, and 
Syracuse was successful on all nine of its clear attempts. Also, as you check the stats, all of the goals by Towson were man up. And, and from what we've read and seen coming into this, this is our first game, Dan. They, they have spent some time in the penalty box, and uh, it's no different so far the first quarter. Ball on the ground. Let's see if he was withholding the ball from play. It was away from the ball. Dom Finn was being uh, restricted. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, he was, he was on top of the ball and not allowing Syracuse access to the ball. So that's, uh, can't do that. So Syracuse gets it. And Finn brings it up for the Orangemen. You see it from behind the Towson State goal. Syracuse now going from right to left as the teams have changed sides in the second quarter. Ryder back behind to Archer. Bettinger back to Archer. Now and you're quickly seeing to Ryder. Zone. Yeah, not a little, little zone here, I think. They'll play some games with it. You know, oh, that'll be a shot. They'll play some games. They'll play man-to-man -man on one guy and zone everybody else. And it's sometimes difficult to pick up exactly what they're doing, but they were definitely zoning there. And oh, that's a shot that they tried against Loyola and, and they worked it to death and then couldn't get it when they needed it. Tom Finn scoring the goal for Syracuse. It's his second. Finn did have an opportunity like that, almost exactly like that, in overtime against Loyola. But uh, the shot was saved, and Syracuse wound up losing in OT. You see, he got the jump. He got the break, and he just goes up in the air, gets the shot. And uh, they're just waiting for the, for the break by Finn, and he, he broke, and nobody picked him up from Towson. And uh, a nice feed, and that's Syracuse, their eighth goal. And that feed was made by Archer, his third assist. Yep. So to Archer, go with two goals. Archer did a lot of, a lot of penalties on the faceoffs here. Let's what we got. Procedure. Okay, that's against Syracuse. May have been on the wing. That's the that's the official who makes the call, and that was a wing sin. Oh, Thousand guy, wasting no time. Shot wide. Thousand's closest. Threw a change up there. A little bit <laughs> took a little something uh -huh. off that shot. There's Bob Doherty. The Syracuse connection on this Towson State team. Jenna Vies, who was pretty quiet in the first quarter. Thirdsley on Jenna Vies, 47. They take a way out on top, take their time. That's Doherty on the short stick. Shot fired wide by Quinn. Saran racing after it, but Towson State. Oh, it is. It does go to Syracuse yep. as Saran's hustle paid off. He got there. He is a hustling goalie. He had 25 saves against Loyola. That's a, that's a career high. He's just doing a great job this year. Beardsley yeah. coming up field for Syracuse. He'll take it himself. Let's see. It goes out of bounds. Yeah. Right, so he'll say something. Watch. He'll say, yep, he's talking. He's, he's got to talk. Thousand States. Cesarski, watch 23. He's going to come over here. And he's going to knock Beardsley or the ball. Yep, right out of his, ooh, just on the line. And, of course, then he gives Beardsley a little extra shot. So Cesarski, nice play for Towson. Gives them possession. Strange to see Beardsley drop his head like a fullback. Yeah. Aaron pass picked up by Syracuse. Thorpe. Try captain Reggie Thorpe. He's waiting to make sure everybody's on side. Now he goes over. And now Syracuse sets up a little bit, runs the patterned offense. We got Archer behind. As we'll see if they go to that zone. Finn with the ball at about 20 yards in front of the cage. Appears to be man to man again. And it's Archer. Being poked. Tick. Oh. Archer still holding on to it. Gives it up to Ryder, even with the cage. Archer, oh, shot and a score for Jamie free. Archer. They and drew, just gonna say, they drew two men out on the ball and they got rid of it. It's simple yep. addition, right? Oh, there's two guys, I gotta get rid of it. And there's Archer. Right. Oh, what a pretty shot. He put it right between the legs of the goalie. See it again. There's the second guy. See, that's a classic. They practice all the time. When you see that second guy come out in the double team, there's two things you can do. You can hold on to the ball. Chances are you're either going to get knocked out of position or lose it. You give it up, and he did it just the right time. 
Spencer, who was coming up to try for the double team, came from so far away, it gave Ryder an opportunity to realize it was coming. That's why you need that vision, you know? You see that stuff mm -hmm. out of the sides there on your peripheral vision. I oh. think from a defensive standpoint, if you're going to attack two on one, it has to be quicker. It has to be very fast, and you want to try to cover the stick so he can't get the pass off, but Towson able to get a little fast break here, unsettled situation. Looking to feed the crease. Spencer with it. A little bit of a pick set by Spencer. Towson not able to get a free shot. Running a man out on top, kind of an offset. They got more guys than the, actually there's a 1-4-1 one, one with two guys offset on each side of the goal. This is Quinn. Kugavan watching him. And again, same pattern for Towson. This is being very patient. Or as you can hear the fans, boring. <laughs> <laughs> Krupinski running behind the Syracuse goal. Lockwood on him. Short stick. Oh, that's a that's a check. That's a that's a pretty good set of forearms when you can put somebody going in the opposite direction that quickly. Joe Genovese got the step. But he's got the stick up. There's Ling Clip. Put the stick and the ball's down. And Syracuse Kusha. is able to come up with it. Kusha to Lockwood. The yeah. laser. And Syracuse is deemed closest. Good hustle by 42 Scarborough from Towson, but they got there and Syracuse will get the ball back. A lot of time left. Lockwood's had some good opportunities to shoot. So far he's been a little off the mark. Bettinger, Syracuse sets up again. Jim Morrissey, and he had it knocked away by Spencer. Nice job by Spencer, and now it goes the other way as Regan with a big stick. Passes back, ball down again. This is why you gotta have good legs in lacrosse. Paul Sullivan racing upfield for Syracuse. Oh! Over the look. shoulder shot by Ryder, just off the mark and you could see his frustration as he almost had the gorgeous goal. Yeah, it was a nice look by Sullivan. There's the there's the shot behind the back mm. just off. Sullivan a sophomore out of Scarsdale. Oh, no award. That'll cost Syracuse a possession as Ryder was detected pushing off. Colt starts the break for Towson. You can see the disbelief on Ryder's face when yeah. that call was made. You know, I haven't seen uh, Beardsley back in since his uh, earlier indiscretion. They got Pete Linklip, 28 is in now, mm -hmm. defensively, and there's Hans Schmidt, with a big stick, number 44, on the ball. Mm -hmm. Shot and a save, Saran comes up with it. Oh! His uh, pass deflected by Towson, and the Tigers control. Doherty, firing wide, That's Saran a good hustling hustle, Saran. after. Whoa, yes, change your call. <laughs> You didn't see it off the side there. I just saw the official. He looked up and signaled ball Towson, but Saran clearly beat him. And here's the, when you got the ball, you get a lot of attention. It's like being in Central Park on a Saturday evening with a wallet full of money. Draws a lot of attention. And there's the good hustle by Saran. A little safer than that. Yeah, a little bit. But the attention point was there. <laughs> Beardsley back on for Syracuse. Ooh, ball down. Picked up by Towson. Loose again. Ooh. That was off Beardsley. He's back in. Towson gets yep. it. Yep. Off of Beardsley's stick. They get a little horn there to get some subs in. So we got uh, Beardsley in defensively also. Schusler 14 in. 
Syracuse leading 9-3, about nine minutes left in the half. Scoring pace has slowed in the second quarter after Syracuse led 7-3 after one. Bound shot knocked away by Saran. Genovese with a feed. Another, I don't know if he saved it or if it hit the post, but it didn't go in for Towson. Towson getting all the bounces in this run. Not able to put one by yet. But they're going to settle it down again. Timeout goal needs to be adjusted, I think. Yeah, they sent a body into there, and uh, they want to, Billy Ellis, just the official wants to make sure that this is set where it should be. Good look at Coach Runk. That's amazing statistic. He's been there 26 years. I can't think of another coach who's been any place that long. Although Coach Simmons isn't far behind that's, at 23. That's true. You're right. Shot and a save. Saran again coming up big for Syracuse. It's his third save this quarter. He's got nine. Syracuse hacking away at Towson uh, attack. Carsaterra. Steve Carsaterra. Genovese. Beardsley whacking at him. This is Carsaterra. Double. Double team. Gets off the shot and Saran comes up with it. Thorpe did a nice job of just flipping the ball on the ground and started this fast break from the goalie. Schusler. Shot uh, takes the bounce shot that goes out of bounds and Ryder is closest. Shots even almost. Syracuse actually down by one in the shot department, 20 to 19. But when you got nine goals, you're pretty efficient. Syracuse's shots have definitely been a lot closer to goalie Tim Colt than many of the shots fired by Towson. Colsey, who scored Syracuse's first goal, looked like he wanted to crank it up, gives instead to Ryder. Quick shot taken and scored. Syracuse gets one from Casey Donegan. The junior from Corning scoring his first goal of the afternoon and second of the season to make it 10-3. It's a 5'7", 161 pound shot right there. Watch what he does with this, neat. He just kind of flips it very softly. And uh, you know that a goalie's got his adrenaline pumping and you get one of those little dribblers, sometimes it's hard to come up on it. Donegan did a nice job of taking that shot. Timeout, Towson. Syracuse is on a run of five straight goals since the first quarter. Towson scored a man up goal to make it 5-3 and then got the face-off that followed. It looked like the Tigers were ready to make it close, but Syracuse has gone on this a stretch of five straight goals. Syracuse obviously also playing well defensively. You look at Saran and company, they've got the same shots. Both teams have 20 shots, but Syracuse has 10 goals, while Towson only has three. So you look and you say, well, what's the saves? 10 for Saran, and here's a good look at one right there. Now, that was a pipe, but he was in the perfect position. You let the pipe help you, and Saran gets another shot. Look at that. Whoa, mm. comes up with a body save. That's what knocked the goal out. You can see the goal right in the right hand side was knocked out of adjustment. But that shows you what the goalie's got to do. And Saran has been, I think so far this season, a real strong showing for Absolutely. Saran. Came into the game with a 64% save percentage. Last year he was at 59%, so showing improvement in that category as well. Here's a good look at uh, another shot that he s hits the stick, bounces back out. Look at him, always keeping his eyes, trying to get the rebound. I think he's much better on controlling the rebound. He got much better at last year. He's really good at it this year. Syracuse has outscored Towson 3-0 in the second quarter, despite the fact that the Tigers are winning the battle for ground balls in this quarter, 10-4. You know, one of the things is... Uh, the reason why you have ground balls is the defense may be knocking it out of your hand and you're picking it up again. That's a that's a ground ball. So sometimes those statistics can be misleading, but but you're right. Uh, but Syracuse hasn't had the ball on the ground when you pass it that much and get that many good shots. Well, the faceoffs still remain pretty even, although Syracuse is going to lose that one. So it's nine to six in the faceoff department, and Towson's leading that. Cesarski had it, fired for Quinn. Quinn somehow got held on to the ball. But Syracuse takes it away as Beardsley made the interception. Now it's checked away from him. 
Well, they are contesting everything. They aren't. Uh... Bounced up in the air. Genovese tried to spin away. Couldn't do it. Out in front. Nice save. Saran again. That was an important save because they were, there was a whole knot of guys over there, both yellow and white jerseys, and they got an open man to have a shot. Watch, there's, there's the ball up in the air. Now what Saran's doing is trying to find himself, and Towson's trying to find an open man, and now he finds the ball, and here's the shot. Difficult, a long shot, but a nice mm. on-target shot. Yeah, it was open. Yep. Colin McDermott shows that he has one of the faster shots for Towson State, and Saran was right there. Yep, and he's going to be facing man down for the sixth time. Who's that? Uh, yeah, Kugavan down? Yeah. Pat Kugavan. Yep. Sixth man up opportunity for Towson. They've got three. All three of their goals came in man up situations. Including one in a two up situation. Right, yep. Thousand very patient so far in these opportunities. You've got to be. Ling clip 28 in on the man down defense. Along with Shot it. No, outside. At the outside of the net. And Syracuse has it. Reggie Thorpe. Thorpe. Oh, he's got to be upset with himself, although he took some time off the clock. Not able to get it down and get the release. If you can get the ball in your opponent's goal area, then you will get anybody in the penalty box released. And uh, that's where he was headed, but he was bushwhacked on the right sideline. Syracuse takes a timeout, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yep. First timeout called by Syracuse. The Orange leading 10-3 with 5.40 left in the second quarter. Our next Super Sports coverage of Syracuse Lacrosse coming up here at the Dome as the Orangemen host Brown. That'll be next Saturday. And the second of the six straight Dome games for the Orangemen. And as we said at the top of the show, one of the best things about being home, not only having the games home, but is able to get that practice in that uh, they were on the road early. And of course, they go down, they played North Carolina. And there's, a, you know, one of the top teams in the country and they don't duck them they go down and play them early and it's a big advantage for North Carolina being outside and having the weather especially this year but uh, they are back and able to practice at uh, full field and full speed there's a good look at the penalty comparison six for five minutes and 30 seconds and one for one minute and as you noted this is not unusual for Syracuse the Orangemen despite being perennial powers usually have more penalties than the opposition. Yep. You know, instantly there's a new rule this year just while we're sitting here waiting for this to get going. Coaches cannot go on the field at all ever. And uh, that's kind of interesting because they used to be able to go out on timeouts and they, they just, they're not out there. They're in their coach's box. They want to restrain them, I guess. So Syracuse with a man in the box. Kugavan sitting as this man up opportunity. First one is a shot. Langton fired it wide. 5.23 left in the half. Genovese bumped by Thorpe, beats Thorpe, takes the shot and scores. Genovese got by Reggie Thorpe, who was very angry and slammed the post with a stick after allowing Genovese to get by. Well, you could hear the goalie. You could hear Saran saying, Thor, Thor, stay right with him. And, and what happened is, watch, he had him out there. Now, what Thorpe's trying to do is hang that stick. Just hang it and I'll get it. But see, he never hung the stick. Pretty close to being on the line when he took the shot, but a nice shot and a nice job of beating Thorpe out. We're gonna get a look at it here. See, he wanted him to hang the stick back and he couldn't get anything. It was a nice job of protecting the stick. First goal of the day for Genovese, who came into the game with four. It's a Syracuse possession after a push. So it's 10-4. Seems like it's the first time in a long time Syracuse has had an opportunity. Bettinger, shot and a score. Steve Bettinger with a bounce shot past Colt. Syracuse gets the goal right back. 
That's a, one way to answer. Is that a new goalie in there, I believe? You're right. Whalen, 39 Ryan is Whalen. in. Yeah. But we're going to see what Whalen saw first is a left-handed shot offside, and it bounced over his left foot and in for a goal. So they give Whalen an opportunity. Whalen had played in one of the two previous Towson State games and actually had saved 82% of the shots against him. Fazy knocks it out, doesn't get any help from the wing, and it's a uh, Towson ball. Cesarski running up field. Genovese, and now behind the cage with Matt Timmons. Timmons has it again. Towson getting its right alignment. Hans Schmidt come in 44 for Syracuse along with 34. Karate, who's had a couple of nice shots. Genovese now on Beardsley. Colin McDermott has taken the ball for Towson. Genovese. Tried to take a little wraparound soft underhand shot, but not to be as Colsey is now going to attract a lot of attention, and he tries to go right through 2,000 players, and he does, and he's going to get a penalty. I'm not sure who they're going to call on. Somebody in goal. That's got to be number 11, Timmons. Yeah, here's Colsey after he fullbacks his way through. Watch him go through Timmons. Boom! And then a hack, <laughs> hack on the hip. And uh, yeah, he got them all on the hip. Coles, he's so strong. He has to be the strongest mini for Syracuse. Another illegal team personnel call. And this one goes against Towson. So they got two guys down, yeah. Todd Fields has been pulled aside along with Matt Timmons. So a great opportunity for Syracuse with an 11 to four lead. Two men up and these guys are gonna kind of box it up here. These guys from Towson, they gotta just try to keep the guys from getting the shot off. But and that it quickly, doesn't work. That Colsey, it's tough when you're two men down. I always thought they might do that in basketball, you know? <laughs> Make it a little more interesting. They look and Colsey gets in behind the box and uh, all by himself and the goalie Whalen is just at his mercy. And there's the pass and he wheels and fires. And each team has done the same thing to score when it's been two up. Just kind of stretch out the box as much as you can and then get someone in the middle for the easy goal. Syracuse getting Great feeding from Matt Ryder and Jamie Archer. They've been involved in seven of the 12 goals. Four assists between the two and five goals. Four to two in faceoffs this quarter. Towson has an advantage and they're gonna get this one also. Three and a half minutes left in the quarter. Syracuse leading by eight. Christian Fotopoulos in for Syracuse, number 27, as a save by Saran. He's got new people in front of him. Beardsley's got it. That was a wide open scoring opportunity for Stuart Crotty. Reggie Thorpe coming up field for Syracuse. Flags everywhere. Yeah, that, that, he got pushed, at least a push. Let's see what they call, if they give him a technical or a personal. Yeah, they're gonna give him a slash. So. So that'll, that'll be man down now, and Coach Runt gives him a little bit of advice. You gotta admire the way he told him that. Very positive manner, and ooh, ooh, that, yow, that hurt my shoulder just looking at it. And then hurt the knees on the rug burn. Yeah, geez. So Syracuse on their man up opportunity number three. One in the first quarter, this is the second in this quarter. Archer to Bettinger. Ryder takes the deflected shot. Lockwood could not hold on. Towson sweeps it upfield. Regan 
Down again, not able to control. Ball, yes. If they get it in here, they'll get a release. Release. They're even. Did they get a shot? No. Oh, Beardsley. Beardsley and Thorpe, he's, they're just, uh, there's bodies all over the field down there. And flags. Push. This is no, no, no flag, no penalty, just uh, no time serve penalty. Watch, balls down. Oh, watch what Beardsley does with a meow. <laughs> he really hacked that stick, which is legal. And then Thorpe knocks him down, and then Beardsley goes after the next guy. Sure. And then here it is down in the corner, and this is when this whole tangle of bodies was down there. She's a mom would love to have her kid play lacrosse watching that, right? You get the distinct impression that Beardsley doesn't mind hitting the deck. No. Shot goes wide. Shot off. Colsey takes the stick down also of number 34's Crotty cut across, but they still have possession. Kugavan, 18. 151, as you can see, Syracuse up by eight. Look. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. For two but different Thorpe, players. Yeah, Thorpe also knocked the stick out of somebody's hand even before he got the ball. Doherty being pressured by Finn. Now it's Genovese trying to beat Beardsley. Beardsley keeps him away. And the pass by Genovese. Uh, tapped back. Towson will control. Colsey had a chance to pick it up. Couldn't find it in the cross. Oh, open, slide, shot, save. And Colsey has it for Syracuse. Oh, nice look. Here comes Lockwood. Fans anticipating a Syracuse opportunity. Nice job by Scarborough, 42. Got a stick up, stopped the fast break. Oh, did they give it to, they gave it to Towson? Okay, well, there's the shot. Look at that, the body, look how he protects the pipe. Just a super job by Saran of being in the right place. Try to sneak that shot by and he had the body there. Successful clear for Towson. 40 seconds left in the quarter. This is Crotty. Whitech, 45, playing a lot for Syracuse in. Crotty is on Whitech. They just want to take their time and see if they can't push it in before the time elapses. And the shot is taken away by Saran. Boy, he nonchalanted that one. Syracuse has five seconds left. Bettinger, two seconds left. And that's going to be it for the half. Bettinger might not have realized how much time was left. In any case, it doesn't matter much. Chris Saran with a terrific half for Syracuse. And the Orangemen have an eight goal lead at the end of 30 minutes. At the half, you see the score, Syracuse 12 and Towson State 4. We're back at the Dome where Syracuse has an eight goal lead at the half, 12-4, the Orangemen leading Towson State. Dan Hort and Dale Drypolcher back at the Dome. Syracuse with that lead despite the fact that Towson State outshot the Orangemen, and a big reason for that, goaltender Chris Saran. Up 15 saves so far, I guess, unofficially. That would be a, a record pace for him, but he has looked very, very good. Defense has helped him out. Not all the shots have been great shots, but they've gotten some real good ones like this in close, and watch him guard that post, get the stick down, loses the rebound, Towson gets it back, but he's hung very, very tough. They fed the crease again. Look at him, up high, gets the body up there. Just doing a great job, Saran looking very, very tough, and a big reason why the Orangemen are doing so well. He had 25 saves last week on a pace to have 30 this week. On the other hand, Towson State's got to be thinking, if we can get that many shots, maybe, just maybe, won't be so hot in the second half. Well, that's true, and they've already changed goalies, so uh, usually that's an indication you're not satisfied with what's going on. So Carl Runk and his guys got some work to do for second half. Should be interesting. As we look at some of the uh, first half statistics, there are the shots. Towson State up 29-22. 
Syracuse with 15 saves, Towson State with just four, including zero in the second quarter. Syracuse has been very successful, clearing every time it's had an opportunity to clear. And in man-up goals, Towson State, three man-up goals out of four in all, Syracuse with two of its 12 coming in man-up situations. Again, the halftime score, Syracuse 12 and Towson State 4. Back with the second half in a moment on Super Sports. In a week, Syracuse hosts Brown, and we had a halftime score from Brown's game today against number three, Loyola. A surprise, Brown up 10-4. So Syracuse will not have an easy one next week here at the Dome. This one has been relatively easy so far, although it seems the play hasn't been as lopsided as the score. Syracuse on top 12-4 to four with 30 minutes of lacrosse left. That's a good point. I don't think you're right. It doesn't look as, as bad. Uh, the score is not as bad as uh, perhaps you would think uh, that Towson would not be playing well, but I think they have been playing pretty well. Mm -hmm. You got a hot goaltender in Saran, and they have uh, made the most of their man-up opportunities, but Syracuse is just running and gunning. Syracuse with the ball on top 12-4. Matt Ryder behind to Archu had three goals in the first half. Bettinger. Ryder again and back to Archer. In front and hauled in by the goaltender. Beginning the second half, Brian Whalen, not Tim Cole, who started the game. Here comes Towson. Bounce shot blocked by Saran. Save number 16. Oh, I was just going to say, had he made that pass, it would have been such a great deal. He got it out so quickly, but Syracuse comes up with it anyway. Lockwood getting a step to Ryder, who could not hold on. Oh, good hustle by Pusha. Oh, and he is slammed over the sideline. The ball stayed in bounds. Procedure, let's see, it'll be Syracuse ball. There's procedure call back, but watch what Pusha does. He's going down, got that head down, turns to get the ball, and <laughs> he got clobbered. Nice hit. Al Tyler, the hitter. Yeah, tiled him there, didn't he? <laughs> Here's Ryder again for Syracuse. Orangeman on top by eight. Back that zone defense, I think, here for Towson as we, they're taking, they're pushing on the man behind, but they're zoning out. Shot, oh. Knocked away by Whalen, shot taken by Andy Pusha of Syracuse. Syracuse still contesting the ball. Let's see who comes up with it. Lockwood had it, then lost his cross. Can't play without that. Ground ball, this is an important one. Will go to nobody yet. Now ah, that'll go to Towson as a result of them being on the line. Good hustle by Spencer, but Syracuse lost it out of bounds. And now a clearing attempt will be Towson's responsibility. There is Brian Whalen, the freshman, who has taken over in goal for Tim Colt. Holmes, New York. Got me on that one. Able to get the ball across as Towson gets it down. See what they do offensively. Thorpe and Beardsley and Kugavan, the defenders. Big stick man in Syracuse, 43. Chad Smith. And knocked away by Syracuse. Nice play as the Orangemen come up with it. Mike Doyle was the man who came up with the ball for Syracuse. Nice job on defense. Nice job by Beardsley. Got the ball across. He's going to stay down and play a little offense. He'll take a shot. He'll get an assist if they get a goal. No. Whalen coming up on the uh, save for Towson State. His second. Oh, 
Played about three minutes in the second half. No second half scoring yet. See him run a little switch here. Now they want uh, him out on top so that Beardsley can get underneath. So they ran a defensive switch. Fiat is out on top now. And Thor is Thorpe as he's on Genovese. Genovese made a nice pass. It was not completed on the deflection. Towson almost got off a point blank shot, but here comes Syracuse and Dom Finn. Finn leaving it for Archer. Great feed to Oh, Bencher. nice save. Nice save. Was it Whalen or the post? It was Whalen. He was one on one. Watch. He gets the ball off. That was Bettinger. He saved every SU shot so far this quarter. There it was. Watch. Look at that. He was down on his knees, got his stick wow. up. Just a nice save. After two fakes by Bettinger, he faked him high, faked him low, and then tried to score high. And Whalen was right there. Brian Whalen looking very good for Towson on that flurry. Lockwood for Syracuse. Out in front, Colsey back to Lockwood. Bettinger behind to Archer. Up top, shot taken by Colsey. And it goes out of bounds with Archer closest. Colsey kind of taking a practice a shot after missing that one. Colsey. And uh, Whalen is there again, although it's hard to tell if that was intended for Archer behind the net or it was a shot attempt. Towson was down a man. I'm looking. They they got the. I didn't see him in the box, but they have someone in the box, so this is Syracuse man up opportunity. Archer behind, Bettinger in front. Low shot, save Whalen. Whalen doing a terrific job. Back to even strength as Colsey sweeps it away for Syracuse. Over the shoulder to Saran. Upfield to Lockwood. Lockwood flipping it to Thorpe. It's pretty passing by Syracuse. Now Colsey. Syracuse settles and gets uh, Freddie Amaya in the game and balls behind. Ryder had it uh, deflected away from him right in front of the goalie Whalen. Now it's Finn for Syracuse. Oh nice. He was looking for Amaya but that's going to go out of bounds. Fred Amaya 15 was the intended receiver of the pass. So Syracuse gets a defensive men in. Big stick going in. Chad Smith 43 along with Schusler, the short stick guy and Doyle 23, the other short stick defensive midi. Towson on the clear, and Whalen, the goaltender, will walk it up. Tipped away by Ryder. Somebody offside, or? That's the call. So, Syracuse will be down for 30 seconds. Man up opportunity number seven for Towson. They are on three of six so far. Ryder the one penalized for Syracuse. And you see the captain standing on the sidelines. Technical foul, less obviously less than a personal foul because it's only 30 seconds. A personal foul like a slash or unnecessary roughness is a minute. This is just 30 seconds, so they will have one man advantage for 30 seconds. And Towson brings it up with David Quinn. He's working the perimeter, trying to stretch out the five players in front of goalie Chris Saran. Now, the idea is to get somebody going, you pass it around and try to get somebody going the wrong way and shoot through a seam. Whoa! Shot saved by Saran. Picked up by Syracuse, Saran. Chad Smith. Big stick midfielder. Smith, the transfer from Army. 
Got some wheels. They got somebody. Yeah, everybody's on side. They're checking, getting it down. This will release. They got a release. If you can get the ball in that zone. Oh, a nice save Whalen. by Whalen again. And he gets it upfield to Cesarski. Cesarski whacked. He lost it. Syracuse has it. Great job by Smith on Cesarski. Got him the ball back. Morrissey passes behind. Lost by Fietta. But Fietta recovers. Eight minutes left in the third quarter. No scoring so far in this quarter. Syracuse substituting. I'd forgotten. Chad Smith to transfer from Army. That's right. Yep. And that's going to be Syracuse. Ball on a shot. That's Jim Morrissey who took the shot. Number eight for Syracuse. A little bit off the mark after the feed from Archer. You get a good look at the crowd there on the uh, on the crease. You did a second ago. Now they're going to spread it out a little bit. Nice camera work as they bring it in. You see how they can load up in front of the crease. Ball's down. Ryder lost it, and Doherty runs it up for Towson State. Good legs. Thin legs for Doherty. Skinny legs. Very noticeable with him. Very good communication by the Syracuse defense led by Saran and goal. There has to be. That, that's the key. So everybody, if you don't can't see behind you, you've got to know where the man is at all times and who's going to be feeding. And Saran lets everybody know where the ball is. Bam Bam is Rick Beardsley, who just uh, took it away from. Single-handedly took it from Genovese, and then he shows him the ball in his big stick. Uh, You never need an interview for the 6 o'clock news. <laughs> Bridgley's a good one. Saran coming up on offense for Syracuse. He's in front of the Towson State goal. Now Saran is finally breaking back yeah. to his own goal. Fans loved it, though. The Syracuse lost the ball. Who was it? Morrissey lost it, and now a break, a fast break for Towson. Saran just got back to the goal. Now he's got a... <laughs> Beardsley right over. Thorpe this time comes up with it with, for Syracuse Woo! and the Orangemen get the ball. The hustle and the push and the... That Carcaterra lost the ball, I believe. 4,000. Lacrosse is such a great sport to watch. Always action, always something going on. A little, little Pusha. move. Yeah. Pusha with a move for Syracuse. Yeah. His pass attempt was knocked away by Towson. Ball loose, picked up by the Tigers. Cesarski running upfield. A little bit of a skirmish back by the Towson goal. Big stick, shot, save. Thorpe. Over Thorpe's head was Genovese. Where's it go? Stays Towson ball. Good hustle by... Genovese, number eight. But Thorpe and Beardsley and the Syracuse defense. Now Hans Schmidt comes in with a big stick. Beardsley again, checking Genovese. They call him Bam Bam as you look at what the, how the goalie kind of calls things out, the panorama. And they're trying to feed the crease and a good stick check there. Keeps the ball on the ground and a good hustle by Towson's number 19, Spencer. But let's see. Where's the call? No, it's going against, though. It's off a of Syracuse stick, they say. Spencer dove at it like he had to save it, huh. Dan. He certainly thought it was going <laughs> to go over to Syracuse. Yep. Good hustle on Spencer's part. At any rate, uh, it's a good thing he didn't touch it, I guess. As good as Saran was in the first half, Syracuse's defenders have done the job in the second half. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I think Beardsley's been in position a little bit better this uh, this half. Mm -hmm. uh, Thorpe. They, yeah, Thorpe, they've been very aggressive. As Syracuse takes a timeout, I think they were trying to get somebody off the field and they had to take a timeout so as not to get caught with uh, too many men on the field. So still no scoring in the second half. 5.08 left in the third quarter and Syracuse maintains its 12-4 lead. 
you know why they'll talk about teams having to be in good physical condition early in the year. You get in a game like this and they have no scoring, you're constantly running up and down the field in 50 and 60 yard sprints. And uh, if you ever played football, you never played lacrosse, you know it's like after practice to run those 50 or 60 yard sprints. These guys do it all the time. It's amazing what good condition these guys are in. And you're gonna get a look at uh, one of the other things that lacrosse has is, is body contact. And uh, it's part of the game. And anybody within five yards of the ball is fair game. And oh. you, even though you don't have the ball, you were within five yards of it when you got hit. It's all legal, and uh, that's why uh, it takes a certain kind of guy to play lacrosse. That was Fred Amaya with the hit for Syracuse. <laughs> yeah. Next week, Syracuse takes on the Bears of Brown. Second straight home game for Syracuse. Against another top 20 program. Home schedule loaded with some great opponents this year, Attractive. culminating at the uh, end of the regular season with Johns Hopkins. Got Hobart, Cornell home. Got, uh, as you said, Hopkins. Hobart always a good game because they're always uh, so nearby and uh, brings a lot of fans, right. a, lot of, a lot of good rivalry between those right. two. Of course, the Division Three uh, for so many years, the national champions. Only having that streak snap last year. Towson with it, five minutes to go in the third quarter. Looks like an isolation out here with one-on-one, -on -one. Kugavan. For Syracuse, Quinn for, it was Quinn, now it's changed. So they're taking their time. And they want to get back in the game. And you know, they've said, look, we've done pretty well. We've held Syracuse scoreless in this quarter. Let's see if we can't pick up our own offense, take our time. David Spencer with the shot, Saran. Another nice save. Coming through again. Close to the sideline, penalty flag goes up. Let's see what we got here, unnecessary roughness on somebody. Let's see, there they go out of bounds. Oh, there's a little push on, oh yeah, 2-4. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll that'll give you a, a minute uh, to rest if you're a little out of breath. Krapinski is going to take a seat. There is Kevin Krapinski. Saran, uh, is, you know, if you get outside the goal, you'll find out. Matt Palum, you remember Matt? Anytime he used to get out from Syracuse, you, you attract the crowd. People love to hit the goalie. So Saran just doing what he's supposed to, hustled over, but took a shot in the back. But. Uh, doesn't bother him any as we go back to action. Syracuse, the ball in the Towson goal area. Archer feeding Colsey, whose shot was blocked. Whalen picked up, though, by Ryder. In front to Bettinger. It bounced over the goal, and Archer is nearest for Syracuse. Boy, this, this Whalen kid has come on very mm -hmm. strong for them uh, in the goal. Towson, very, very tough from Holmes, New York. I'm still trying to figure out where that is. <laughs> I got Canterbury listed next to his name. Didn't help me in the least. Huh. Eight saves. I've obviously drawn a blank on yeah. Holmes, New York. Ryder whistles it high. Whalen, a freshman. Yeah, I was just checking. He is a, he is a freshman. Six foot, 163. Out of Holmes, New York, from Canterbury. Maybe it's a prep. Sounds like a prep school. Perhaps. Syracuse patient, trying to feed the crease. Two guys behind, now they feed back. Ryder's shot, partially deflected. Yep, still Syracuse ball on the shot. No substitutions, they had the horn, but nobody came in, so it'll stay Syracuse ball. Ryder behind to Archer. Wide open, Bettinger, and he scores. So they finally break the, the wall that uh, Whalen had set up there in the Towson goal. Bettinger's gonna be number 12. See where he is, he's all by himself. They slide over on that zone, and uh, he put it, he got it off. Timing was wrong by 
The man from Holmes, Whalen, watch him try to slide, but it's too late. Slide over and not really in position. That's the getting going one way and bring the ball back the other. Bettinger comes up with goal number two, 317 left. And Archer had the assist, his fourth, to go with three goals. Archer, uh, the quarterback, but uh, has been doing some scoring himself in the goal department. Face off goes Syracuse way on a push. Fuchsia was the player who was pushed for Syracuse. Yeah, you see right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Syracuse quickly and applying pressure to Whalen. Yeah, they're in that zone. Archer tried to <laughs> feed it to Ryder, who took a phantom shot. Solid hit applied on the sideline. And Syracuse is able to get it. Good hustle both ways. Both teams going after the ground balls. Towson has uh, 24, Syracuse 23. So uh, that shows you a lot of hustle, both teams. Syracuse, as you see, up 13-4, despite the fact that Laser Lockwood is not in the scoring column yet. And he almost corrected that right there. Yeah, got his own rebound. He doesn't take the layup variety either. He's taking the three-pointers sometimes. Lockwood tried to go over the shoulder and comes up with his own rebound again. Bettinger saved by Whalen. Rebound goal for Ryder. A rebound it is. Bettinger takes a left-hand shot and then such velocity and not able to control it after a nice save. Whalen just at the mercy of Ryder and Ryder puts it by him. There's the rebound you can't control and the little layup off the rebound. 14-4, Syracuse has taken its biggest lead at 10 goals. 2.15 left in the quarter. Now that Towson patience, which has been a sound strategy, it's not going to help because they need to score in a hurry. Even though there's a whole quarter left, you fall behind by 10 and it's hard to take several minutes before getting off a shot. And, and many lacrosse teams can make up a, a four or five goal deficit, but you gotta be running and gunning and getting the face-offs and the fast breaks and using a settled offense sometimes takes too much time, but they're gonna take a left-handed shot. It goes wide. Saran thought about running after it to get closest, but there was a man in position for Towson. Check his concentration. Check in Saran's concentration. You know, even at this point of the game, you're up by 10 goals. He's still on every shot. Kugavan sends him sprawling, and that's gonna, I thought that was gonna draw a little penalty. 30-second job. Kugavan so. runs to the sideline, and Towson has another man-up opportunity. Number nine. They've got only three. They got the three fairly early in the first quarter, but uh, they've uh, had a lot of opportunities since then. This is number nine. Thirty-second opportunity for the Tigers with 133 left in the quarter. Syracuse will run a zone defense, as we said, get those sticks up, try to cut down the passing zones and shooting zones, the little seams that are created when you've got one guy sitting in the penalty area. Syracuse has really dominated this quarter, particularly in shots. I could see that Genovese coming. Yeah. is able to score for Towson. Just the fifth shot of the quarter for Towson, and it produces the first goal of the quarter as Genovese gets his second of the game. So they're four of nine in man-up situations. That's a pretty good percentage. And uh, you can see him hard to get over. He can't slide. Nice bit of screening from anybody sliding from the top of the crease. So Genovese puts it by Saran. Saran up uh, to 19 saves. Only four more from what he had in the at the half. So the action has slowed down. It's been furious, but not a lot of shots. Last touch by Towson. 
Syracuse gets it. Talking about the shots, 35 for Towson, 38 for Syracuse. So a lot of shooting going on. There's the score and the time remaining in the third quarter. And no problem clearing for Syracuse. Bettinger had it blocked by Whalen, who has been spectacular since coming on for Tim Colt. He really has. Nice look. Very nice look. And Towson gets the goal. Carcetera scoring. Steve Carcetera with his first goal. Comes with 35 seconds left in the quarter and restores Syracuse's lead or brings it down to eight. Nice look by 20, Quinn. Quinn draws Thorpe and he leaves him all alone on the crease. Carson Terra, watch, watch 20. Look, draw the man, perfect. Nice give, really a, a classic in lacrosse and uh, a nice shot by Carson Terra. Colsey with it for Syracuse. And he has it knocked away. Good hustle by Lucky, 14. 20 seconds left in the quarter. Lucky behind to Genovese. Bam Bam on him. And if he sees a free hand, he'll put some fiberglass on it. A double team sandwich on Genovese. And the whistle blows. We got illegal offsides. So that'll be Syracuse down again. Man up opportunity number 10. So I'm trying to check here. Coming in, Syracuse had been manned down 18 times and it stopped 17. So they've got 10 man up situations against them. So that's 28 so far on the season they've had. And they hold on so there's no face off to start the fourth quarter. So the third quarter was even in goals. Syracuse with two in the quarter, Towson with two in the quarter, but as we head to the fourth, Syracuse comfortably in front. It's the Orange Men 14 and the Towson State Tigers six. Dan Horton, Dale Drypolcher back at the Dome. Syracuse on top by eight. 14-6 as we get set to start the fourth quarter on a beautiful sunny day. Yes, sunny day. Yes, he said it. In Syracuse. Incidentally, Towson starts with the ball without a face-off. Usually you have a face-off every quarter, but they had possession and there's a extra man opportunity. Whoever has possession at the end of the quarter gets the ball to start the next quarter. Oh, nice look, pass, ball down. This is always interesting. Syracuse wins the battle at the midfield strike. And the crowd responds. Shot taken. Who was that? Chad Smith. Smith kind of. with a long stick. Fast break. They're going to look. Try to get the ball back. Try Doherty to get behind him. Yeah, yeah, trying to hit the trailer. Couldn't do it. Yep, Doherty tried to leave it for Langton. And it went beyond the sideline. As he, they get through there, as they get some fresh lungs in, some fresh legs. Beardsley firing it way upfield, and it is hauled in by Bettinger. You know, one of the things, that Dan, I've noticed, despite the fact it's 14-6, intensity level on both teams is still very mm -hmm. much up. Sometimes you see when you're down by eight, they kind of relax a little bit, the team is down, but Towson still hustling, going after everything, and of course Syracuse also. Ryder looking for Archer. Archer decked behind the net, away from the ball. Loose ball push. That's the call against Towson. Loose ball simply means that if there's possession, it would be a time serve penalty, but since there was no possession, nobody had the ball, you simply get the ball back. Ryder with it for Syracuse. Sullivan, left back for Pusha. Now it's Lockwood. 
Pusha again around to Sullivan. Shot on the mark, went a little bit wide. <laughs> Ryder was knocked down. He put up his hands to say, what was that for? Well, he, had, his Lockwood. Stick. he had the defender's stick and just threw it. Or gently placed it a couple of yards from him. Pusha blocked in front of the goaltender. <laughs> That's one of the jobs of the crease defenseman. You're supposed to stand there and take the shot. Sometimes they'll put chest protectors on it, but that's a tough place to be. Mark Spencer was the defender who knocked it down for Towson. Yeah, you're, you know, you're expendable when you're in there in a great defense, but just get any body part in front of there and knock that ball down, okay? And it's a... Uh, <laughs> Fun position to play. Yeah. Syracuse up by eight. The Orangemen have led by as many as 10. Trying to Wayland. feed those cutters on the crease, and uh, they've not had the ball's been down, and thousands come up with it last couple of times. Genovese going to get Beardsley. one on Beardsley. Beardsley still in pursuit. Beardsley will be down for a minute. Let's see what the penalty looked like. Was Genovese eight? There, right there. Ooh. See that? Now you can one hand check, but you can't hit him in the mouth. And uh, he was trying to get over on the stick, so it was a good call. Down for a minute. Syracuse will be down for the 11th time. You can't use that end either. Well, you can wrap around and, 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 and as long as you get the stick. Anything else but gotcha. stick, they'll call, mm -hmm. a, they'll call a, generally they'll call a slash on mm -hmm. you. But you definitely can one hand check. Just a question, even with that end, if you just hit the stick right. or anything else and he got him there on the head obviously about 12 minutes remaining Towson trying to cut into Syracuse's eight goal lead Towson patient ball down no shot off and Smith, Smith. picks it up for Syracuse now what he wants to do is get somebody to get in that goal area there and that'll Offsides against uh, is going to be called against Towson in second. There's a player down for Syracuse. Player down on the far sideline, just getting to his knees. Ryder. It's Ryder. You hope that that's. Uh, I didn't see him get pushed. I thought he went down. Unfortunately, sometimes that's a knee, but he looks to be all right. But uh, that should have been offsides against uh, Towson. And we'll see what happened to. There's the hit. I think the call was offside before that. So it should be 30 seconds. We haven't heard the PA yet. We'll check it. But Syracuse is man up. Their opportunity number four for Syracuse. Five. Check that. And they have been good on two so far. So. Ryder staying in after being down for a bit there. Lockwood, and Charlie Lockwood gets in the scoring column with a low shot by Whalen. Ends the drought. So the laser put a low shot by Whalen, the freshman, and gives Syracuse a nine goal lead. This is the one, look, boy, you don't want to get in front of that. Everybody down to kind of protect themselves, but that ball stayed low and uh, Whalen had trouble tracking it. And again, it was Archer making the feed from behind the Syracuse goal, or Archer, behind the Towson yeah, goal. Archer just doing a great job. He's, uh, he is the quarterback, and he's been playing out front, started early out front of the goal. Now he's behind and doing a lot of feeding. Syracuse comes up with a clean faceoff. Fazy. Whalen intercepting the pass, almost dropped it back into his own goal. Good hustle by Syracuse. There was another check. Now that was a legal version of that check he tried before. Mm -hmm. That was Beardsley who got all stick that yep. time. Yep. Now a little problem. They got to pick up. Everybody's trying to find a man. Now they pick up. So you can hear who's got 20. Who's got 20? Kugavan picks him up. So and you're, it's a little fairly simple when you're man to man. You just say, this is the guy. I got to play him. But it's another thing to stop him from taking a shot. Like right there. Bounced in front. Reggie Thorpe came up with it for Syracuse. They'll go to Saran. 
You know, in the old days, before they had that 10 second rule to get it out, you used to have a lot of choreography of long passes and trying to get the ball up. Now you got 10 seconds, so it really speeds the game up. Colsey passing in front. Not much on the shot. Whalen was there. Yep. Backhand attempt by Doyle. And the long pass upfield completed to Quinn. And again, Syracuse matches up its defenders. Down to about 9.50 left in the game. Syracuse leading 15 to 6. Syracuse did not, has their offensive midfield out. They're not able to get their big stick on. Langton's shot was blocked in front by Syracuse. Colsey deflected it, and now Colsey runs upfield. Oh, Whalen. Whalen is just. Well, him down there on the goal. That time he stopped Morrissey right in front. Oh. Genovese had a wide open shot, and it stayed in the cross a little too long and went wide of the uh, goaltender, Saran, and wide of the goal. Good point. Genovese with the assist. Shot fired wide. Towson's closest. So McDermott, nine, took the shot. Mm -hmm. They run that back and try to get a, try to, try to get you confused as to what man you take on the, uh, the move behind when they run the pick. Now they're gonna be patient, take it out again, start it up on the top. One man behind, four guys down by the crease as they replace one and pop one out. He's the pop man. Oh. Low shot, miraculously saved by Saran. <laughs> nice hustle on the sideline by Syracuse. Absolutely. Well, I was just going to say one thing about Saran. The thing that's amazing is the concentration level. You know, you want to relax for a second. You know, he's telling people left front, left side, then all of a sudden that shot comes when you gotta be expecting it and you gotta be up every second. He got his body in front of it. That was a hard, well taken shot and Saran really did a nice job. I'm very impressed with his play. He's up to 20 saves by the way and doesn't stop that one. And McDermott Jeff, scoring McDermott, for yep. Towson State to make it 15-7. I guess we jinxed him. <laughs> He's had a great day but he couldn't stop this one. McDermott left-handed shot, and it goes right over his head, just under that six-foot crossbar on top. The goal is six by six, and you're gonna get a ground level look, and it went right over his head. And uh, despite the fact he's having a great game, you're never pleased when that happens. And McDermott has come up with his second goal for Towson, 15-7 now. McDermott scored Towson's first goal of the day. And he's one of 2,000 players with two. Genovese is the other. Archer leads the way for Syracuse. Three goals, five assists. Ryder with three goals and two assists. Colsey, Finn, and Bettinger have two goals apiece. Fred Amaya with it for Syracuse. Coach Simmons getting some of the second and third teams in. Although they play anyway in just about any game for Syracuse. Yep. Nice check at the very end. Ball loose in the crease and Whalen coming up with it. it. About Amaya, he really uh, came uh, one of the hotly recruited players in New York State and then hurt his knee and uh, now without any kind of brace or anything. But he had uh, he had some problems early in his career at Syracuse. Seems like he's been part of the team for a long time. Yeah. Uh, there's a problem there. And a shot and a goal. Fired home by Steve Carcetera, his second goal. And it's 15-8. They uh, not able to pick up defensively there. They let Carcetera open. See him on the crease? He is all by himself. And then they attempted to take the stick away. And he got a shot off anyway. And Carcetera right there, one hand almost. Wrap around shot brings it to 
7-10 left in the game. Towson has cut it to seven. Syracuse is led by as many as 10 on a couple of occasions. Possession, uh, I, that, did Syracuse get that face off? I guess we'll give it to them. Lockwood's pass taken away by Towson. Nice look up field. Four on three opportunity for the Tigers. Syracuse catches up defensively. Genovese couldn't get a shot off. Now the bounce shot goes wide. Carcetera is closest for Towson. Well, they, they like to look to Genovese, don't they? Number eight. Unsettled situation, and then just a nice pass. Genovese open on the, couldn't quite get the stick, and then ran by the, the goal mouth and had to come back. He would have liked to have quick sticked it, but a nice body position and a save for Sarans. That's save number 21, but possession will stay with Towson. Carcetera working against Reggie Thorpe. He'll use the pick by Genovese. Thorpe stays with him. And then you see to the left there, they had all four guys and they all broke for the cage and now the ball down at the midfield line. Now and back into the Towson area and over the sideline. And it was thrown out by Towson. 6-18 left in the game. Fuchsia will pick it up for Syracuse. Syracuse has not quite been able to make this one a laugher. This one it looks like Syracuse is going to run away and hide. Towson State gets a couple of goals to barely stay within striking range. Lockwood tried to make the one-handed catch and couldn't. He's still hustling after the ball. Still loose on the turf. And Bettinger Gotta be is a... about to pick it up. The whistle blew. Failure to advance. So it will, yep, stay Syracuse. Here's up top for Syracuse. Yeah, using that zone defense, which they, they did not early, and then they've, they've come in and out of it, but now they are using the zone, and that forces things out a little bit, just like in basketball, you really hard to penetrate. Archer flipped it for Bettinger, who just carried it behind the net. See, the, the thing like this is it's hard to penetrate inside that zone. You gotta look for seams and hope you can work somebody in, but it does force sometimes long passes, and long shots. Syracuse stretching the zone. And of course Syracuse not in really any hurry. Now they now they jump. Nice save. Nobody and knew where the <laughs> ball was. Bettinger's shot was saved by Whalen. It bounced straight up in the air and it took a while for it to be found. High shot fired up by Pusha. And Towson closest. Yeah, Whalen hustled out, but boy, that ball was all over the place. And uh, 15 saves for number 39, and that was a spectacular variety. Nobody knew where the ball was until it bounced. And that's 15 saves and a little more than a half for Whalen. Yeah, and, and you know, they have taken good shots at him. These are not weak shots, these are good shots. They're not playing catch with him. Long pass. Inside of four and a half minutes remaining, Syracuse leads by seven. McDermott tried to find Crotty as he was sprinting toward the net. Lost out of bounds by the Tigers. Coach Runk still working his team. As I said, uh, you talked about never being able to put it in the category of uh, a laugher. I think that's because of the intensity. Uh, his Towson State team is still working and scrapping, and they're a good lacrosse team. You can see that Towson State has actually outscored Syracuse in the fourth quarter. And they're getting, as we talked, some good goaltending in this. And you wonder if uh, number 39 hasn't maybe won himself a starting spot. 
as a freshman, sometimes you maybe underestimate their ability, but it's a good chance to try them against the best, and uh, he's come up very, very tough. What, we had 15 saves for number 39, the freshman, Whalen. Starter Tim Colt had three saves before he came out. Oh, in the crease. Nice attempt. Matt Doyle getting a little too close yep. as he tried to charge in on Whalen. Of course, he, sometimes you might want to leap from behind like the famous Eric Gate. Yeah, he was in about a half a yard or so. Good call. Officials have done a nice job with the game. A little AstroTurf pass. Down to 3.20 remaining. Kropinski to Genovese. Now it's Carcetera. Again being guarded tightly by Thorpe. Thorpe has marked Carcetera. Beardsley has done the same to Genovese and it's worked very well in the second half. A little jump here, they were, now they let him go way back out, but they were on a length and doubled him and then back to just one on one. Syracuse comes up with it. Smith, who's been around a lot of ground balls in the second half. Number 27 is Fotopoulos. Mm. Saran again going low to make the save. That'll stay Towson ball. In 36 for Syracuse. Smiley. Mike Smiley. Yep. Thorpe, Thorpe comes out. out. And gets a nice round of applause for his efforts. Local kid. Jordan Elbridge High School. Another hard shot off the turf. Goes wide of the mark. Yeah, they're crowding up the crease there. They're about six, seven yards out from the goal mouth trying to do a lot of cutting and picking and hope that they can. Oh, slash. Syracuse has got to stop this opportunity because they'll get a penalty anyway and a save by Saran. Well, he's up to 23. Oh, they're going to give him a hold. The good call. It wasn't really in the slash variety. He had him around the head, but no blood. <laughs> so he, <laughs> Billy Ellis gives him a 30 second hold. And Towson will have the man up opportunity with 153 remaining, trailing by seven. This is their 12th man up opportunity. And they're up uh, four so far of 11, so this will be their 12th. And as I said, looking at the year, this will be the 30th man up opportunity Syracuse has faced. They have been manned down 30 times. That's a lot, something you might want to work on, I guess. But they're very aggressive. You see it right there. Beardsley got the ball, but they lose it. Now Syracuse can come up with this. They'll get that guy out of the box. A couple of players had a chance. Clock inside of a minute 30 to go now. Still loose. Yeah. And it finally rolls out of bounds. Syracuse gets it. Last touch by Towson. See how those sticks get going. You know, there are purists who still like the old wooden stick, you don't see it in college much, but boy, those things are a lot heavier, and when you got whacked with one of those, you really knew it. These fiberglass heads, a little easier on the shoulders, although Beardsley uses his like a, an ax. Nice look, down low. Shot taken by Clements. Syracuse has it with 111 remaining. Loose ball picked up by Towson. One. And you can hear the one minute indication from the voice of the Dome, Carl Eilenberg. One Shot more taken save. and saved by Saran. He's up to 24. One more would equal his career high set last week. Now they have to keep it in now. If you're in an offense, you have to keep the ball in your 
attack goal area there or you get penalized. Shot taken, hit the post. Towson with it. Pass attempted for McDermott. And it's bouncing toward the sideline where it'll go out of bounds. Pass touched by Syracuse. 19 seconds. And Saran's going to come out. Nice hand for Chris Saran. Replaced by Garrett Esposito for the final 15 seconds. Nice chance to have the crowd give him a hand. And uh, if you're a Towson fan, you might want to give Whalen a hand. 24 saves for Saran. Check for Whalen for you as Karen Ryan, one of our stat people. One more save for Whalen. And there's the final horn, Syracuse. Evens its record at two and two as the Orangemen jumped ahead early, scoring the first three goals of the game and never trailed in beating Towson State by the final score of 15 to eight. Stay tuned, some final thoughts coming up in a moment on Super Sports. Well, the dominance in the Dome continues. Syracuse's first home game produces a win, and as a result, Syracuse's all-time record in the Dome, 74 and five. Final today, Syracuse 15 and Towson State eight. I think they saw a lot of good things. We knew coming in, Saran had been a real standout for Syracuse so far this season, and uh, he proved it today. Chris Saran, one short of his record tying career saves at 25 at 24 and he not only that you know he started the fast breaks uh, he just uh, was everywhere he needed to be and I, I think they're very very happy with the play of Saran but I think what they really are happy with it the rest of the team seems to now be catching up with Saran uh, I think they, they look better today I, I think this is going to be a, a good place for them to be for the next five or six games mm -hmm. because I think they needed the practice time and they are they are picking up the game I think where they want it to be Syracuse Chancellor Buzz Shaw in attendance as Syracuse evens its record at two and two for the victory over Towson State today by the final score of 15 to eight. Towson falling to two and one as a result of today's loss. Don't forget, more lacrosse coverage on Super Sports coming up next weekend as the Orangemen, ranked fifth, take on the 11th rated Brown Bears. Check your local listings for the time of the telecast near you. Reminder that this has been a presentation of Super Sports, a production of Adelphia Cable Communications.